Hey guys, this is Valera Kushner from DabbleLab at DabbleLab.com and I'm continuing showing to you how to prototype your first mobile app idea and today we're using Sketch. Now that we saw the final result and what the prototype will look like, let me show you how it's done. So first of all, we will start with uh, using this uh, insert button and uh, using an artboard, which is a shortcut for its num uh, letter A. And uh, since we're prototyping for an iPhone, we'll use iPhone 6 size. Uh, like I talked uh, about it earlier, we want to do this at uh, double the size, 750 by 1334 uh, for retina resolution. And uh, I will minimize this a little bit. And now we have a nice looking uh, iPhone 6 size uh, artboard. Uh, so uh, Sketch is really easy to use and it has a bunch of built-in shapes over here on the left uh, if you use insert button and uh, we will start with uh, two rectangles uh, for the top and the bottom and at first we will do a system bar uh, just like on any iPhone that has your cell phone provider um, or uh, clock or battery and then we will draw the same rectangle not the same rectangle but a different rectangle here to indicate uh, the top of our Instagram app uh, that has Instagram logo and things like that. And then we will use uh, this same rectangle again using the, the shortcut uh, for letter R. We'll draw it at the bottom for navigation controls. As you notice, the biggest difference between this and the uh, balsamic is that these are very straight, very precise lines. And uh, actually this tool allows you to finalize your mock-up completely and have a colorful, beautiful first prototype of your app. Uh, so in Instagram, after this bar, there is uh, usually goes a circle with the user um, photo and their user ID. So we'll use a shortcut into letter O and uh, Control cl uh, Shift and drag. We'll have this little 50 by 50 circle to indicate or 49 by 49 user photo, uh, and then we'll click uh, number T to to type up the name. Uh, we'll type Dabble Lab in this uh, in this uh, example. And it's a little big. Uh, we know this is a prototype, so we're not going to focus that. But I will make it on that. But we'll I will make it smaller, uh, just to so that it makes it look a little bit better. And as you can see, Sketch will align it for us properly. And if we actually shift click Dabble Lab and shift click the circle, both will get selected. And if we click this button over here, they will be centered against each other. Uh, now the next step is to draw a square and uh, for that I will use a uh, letter R shortcut for rectangle and I will do shift click and drag and this will draw us a perfect square over here. We'll go what 650 by 650 or so and there it is it's in the middle and that's where the photo would go. Uh, and then in our uh, balsamic prototype we also have the same circle and name under here and I will draw them again. 49 by 49, I believe, there it goes. So maybe we can even align it. Boom, there's it's aligned. And we'll do the same thing for text. And we'll do Dabble Lab. And we'll select these again and we'll align them using this little button. And maybe we'll select these and we'll align them using this button as well. And they both are aligned. Now here at the bottom we have text. And that shortcut for that is a T on your keyboard. And we'll drag to define the area where we want the text to fit in. And we'll start typing something like, uh, this is a nice photo on the beach that we cannot see because this is just a first rough, well actually it's not a first after mockups, but this is a second prototype of our first mobile app idea. And maybe it doesn't need to be centered, uh, we'll just click to alignment to the left. And there it is. And there's our uh, first prototype, uh, similar to Balsamic. The only thing we're missing are some icons. Uh, obviously, we don't have any photos right now. Uh, and in the next video, I will show you where to find these icons for free, uh, how to change colors, and uh, another tool that you can use to uh, really bring this to life. Stay tuned for the next video. Thanks.